Hello, this is GIST Nigeria. Coming up on the program, national emergency. Nigeria's rising malnutrition cases top list of countries west eat in Africa. Also, farming for change. Nigeria begins coconut plantation to meet local demand and expectation. Plus, protecting the environment. Kenyan entrepreneur recycles coconut husks to green products. And I'm Tony Day Andrews. Check me out. The human resources experts passionate about women empowerment and inclusion. It's good to be back with a fresh episode of Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. And here we bring you fresh perspectives to stories making the rounds on social media. I am Wali Fakile. Let's kick off with our top story. Every 1st of August is International Day for Breastfeeding, as breast milk is central to nutrition for infants. But recent statistics from the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, show that about 2 million Nigerian children between ages 5 months and 2 years lack quality food and are malnourished. In fact, international humanitarian group Doctors Without Borders warns that it is a neglected crisis. How true is this and what is Nigeria doing to address the problem? Just Nigeria's Vivian Oguche has been finding out. You must warn that some viewers might find some visuals in this story distressing. The quest for life is on. Pain, the only fire in Barira's belly. From 115 to down, that's from here, down to this red zone. That's severe malnutrition. With the courage of a warrior, he fights for life. Once a house is not secured, food-wise, that means that house is vulnerable. From where I am right now, you wouldn't go like two kilometers without seeing a woman carrying three, four children, you know, begging on the road. I bet those children are really malnourished. We have no business being the, one of the countries with the worst malnutrition rates if we actually make sure that even what we produce is what we eat. Government says it wants to eradicate poverty by 2030. But this visuals paint a grim picture, a picture of Nigeria's silent crisis. Though Nigeria is Africa's largest economy, the country has a difficult history with widespread poverty. Lack of economic opportunities presents major development challenges for many Nigerians. Experts say one of the major consequences of this downward trend is malnutrition, and Nigeria's northwest region is hardest hit. This parent in Katsina says life has become a struggle since her son was diagnosed with acute malnutrition. The prevalence of malnutrition in Nigeria goes beyond the ability to purchase food. It is tied closely to structural and cultural biases that make nutrition less of a priority for low-income earners. We know that some developments take place you know, before a woman even knows that he or she, that she is pregnant, a, a big part of the development has already taken place. The neuronal system is already completely formed. So in that case, malnutrition, a lady who conceives in a malnourished state has already initiated malnutrition in the unborn child. This crisis is dire. Currently, UNICEF says 5 in 10 children under 5 years old suffer from the effects of malnutrition. It's happening globally, not just in Nigeria, in terms of uh, rising cost of living, inflation, uh, household food insecurity, you know, and other uh, security challenges. 
uh, not just in the northern region but in Nigeria as a whole. So what exactly is malnutrition? Malnutrition refers to deficiencies or excesses in nutrient intake, imbalance of essential nutrients or impaired nutrient utilization. The double burden of malnutrition consists of both undernutrition, overweight and obesity, as well as diet-related non-communicable diseases. Malnutrition manifests in four broad forms, including wasting, stunting, underweight and micronutrient deficiencies. These experts emphasize that a malnourished nation is an underdeveloped nation. There has been a proven fact that a nation whose children are not well fed are going to experience uh, retardation because if a child is not well fed, such a child cannot reason properly. And when a child can know reason, it is shown that there is tendency of low earning as an adult. Here we are. You query the thinking, the depth of the thought process, even among the general populace. Is it linked to malnutrition? Because that's what we call hidden hungers, the essentials of vitamins like vitamin A, zinc, iron. They are deficient, as essential fatty as they are deficient. In, if they are deficient in nutrition, the ability of the brain to comprehend things become compromised. Poverty is strongly linked to the prevalence of malnutrition in Nigeria. A World Bank report released in March 2020 says approximately 4 in 10 Nigerians lived in extreme poverty before the emergence of COVID-19. Post-COVID-19, cost of living in Nigeria continues to skyrocket, with inflation standing at double digits. The Nigerian government says it plans to end poverty by 2030, and the school feeding program is one of the measures it has employed. Children are given a healthy, well-balanced diet at least once a day whilst they're at school, which includes um, egg, fish, meat to help their developmental growth. Malnutrition in Nigeria is a long-standing problem that has persisted since the 1960s. And international humanitarian organizations are worried about donor fatigue. Uh, when we screen almost 30, uh, 36,000, almost half of those children are, are, are malnourished. Regarding what we, what, what we have already in, uh, in, in Katina and uh, in the north where we are, we are working, this shows the, the highest number in terms of prevalence of malnutrition, which is uh, uh, beyond the 15% uh, threshold fixed by WHO. Experts also warn that it is risky for a nation's health care to be donor-dependent. Donor dependency is not a problem. It, it can only be a problem where you don't have sustainability factor. And that is why we are saying governments need to allocate special budget line for nutrition. We have to sit down and look at how we can sustainably fund critical programs as far as health is concerned. We want to be able to have a mix of local support, prioritizing and measuring, okay? We have to, we must be able to create that kind of mix. A, a lot of funds are generated at the facility level. Uh, for example, now uh, you find that uh, our primary health care centers getting a lot of funds from capitation, from fee for service, it cost 6,000 Naira to prevent malnutrition through the delivery of high-impact nutrition interventions, while it cost 60,000 Naira to treat malnutrition through the integrated management of acute malnutrition, a nutrition program run by UNICEF in collaboration with countries across the world. This is 10 times the cost of prevention. Experts continue to advocate for more preventive measures, positing that a stitch in time may save nine. Vivian Oguche, Just Nigeria. Indeed, we must act fast to save our infants.
Join this conversation on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. Let's hear your view.